It's like some kind of den. Animals been in there scratching. Kind of made a little bed. Some tracks right there. Some deer scat. Game trail has been used so much that the deers have been scratching the top of this log, jumping over it, and then it continues on. Hey guys, Kevin here. Um, so I'm scouting out this piece of land um, that I'm thinking about buying. So it's 25 acres. Uh, this is where I grew up, believe it or not, in these woods. And it's for sale. So it's 25 acres, but half of it, or maybe even more than half of it, is wetlands. However, I'm going to say 10 to 15 acres of it is pretty dry. Um, it's like higher than the other end. I don't know the exact boundaries. I feel like right now I'm actually at the uh, southwest corner of the property because there's some old field stone walls out here, and I'm pretty sure that I'm off the uh, I'm at the far southwest corner of the property. Um, the great part is is that this place is infested with huge rabbits, so. Um, not that I would care, but that's good to see wildlife out here. I see tons of uh, squirrel nests in the trees, so much better than the uh, the north part of the the property. It's um, very wet and just marshy. There's deer trails and deer prints, um, but again, almost impassable by humans. It's so bad. It's just muck up to here. Uh, not good but this whole part of it is worth it so I'm out here just poking around tons of wild ferns um, edible ones but they're kind of past their prime now to eat but um, still a great place where I can find a flat area and make a little camp out here especially if I own it it's mine so uh, there's plenty of water around and again it's uh, pretty secluded back here and I'm not worried about anybody bothering me because I'll own it so that's where I am I didn't get eaten by a bear or something I know I haven't posted much content lately um, New England man the weather has been so bad it's uh, whew, unbearable at times uh, the rain the Sun hadn't been out in like five or six days uh, I think Thursday the fifth day of rain the Sun broke out for about an hour and it was like, you know, it felt like a movie a little bit. It was crazy. But uh, this looks pretty awesome out here. I'm really excited. Uh, at first, I scouted the whole north side of this property. And, man, it was so wet. I got spun around, actually, at one point. Uh, so I was frustrating, too, because I was just hopping from, like, moat to moat to moat. You know, it was just, and then I ended up. You know, I was stuck in an area where I could barely backtrack without getting soaking wet. But um, this north side is awesome. It's definitely what I thought it was going to be. And nobody's been out here in years. It seems like, again, technology strikes again. Um, when I was young, there was tons of paths. And, you know, the kids were, this is where we played. And, nope. It's just game trails and that's it a couple of pieces of trash here and there um, the north side's even worse because that's like inhabitable I actually found an, uh, a, t a, a foil balloon that probably just fell out of the sky I mean and I combed the whole 25 acres and that's the only piece of trash I found over there this side as I get closer to the houses and the road um, there's a little bit of trash but nothing that can't be cleaned up by some Cub Scouts or something, maybe some Junior Marines or something, come out here and just uh, scout it out and clean up some of the debris that's been dumped. But 
nothing crazy, nothing that wouldn't take a few hours on a Saturday. So I'm just going to continue to, uh, you know, mope along here and kind of, I just wanted to see what the boundaries and before I go to purchase it, I wanted to make sure that there was at least some dry land out here that I could, you know, call my own and work out here. So looks pretty promising. Um, and like I said, it looks like the weather's finally broke. Today's the first day that there was actually some sunshine and the clouds kind of peeled off. It did rain, I'm gonna say for four hours today, drizzled on and off, but the forecast looks great. It looks like uh, the weather's finally gonna break. So um, I'll be back out here, that's for sure. I have permission to come out here from the people that own it. And that's what happened. I went and asked for permission and they actually asked me if I wanted to purchase the land. So, um, pretty funny how that works. So remember, always ask for permission. Uh, it pays off. So anyway, um, looks pretty good. What do I have on tap? I have my shelter redemption video. Um, I also want to try something out. I'm not going to give a spoiler on that, but uh, I have a new recipe that I've been working on and I think it's going to work pretty well. And also, I got some new gear that uh, I'm dying to uh, maybe not so much do a review on, but come out here and field test it. Plus, one of the pieces of gear I want to modify. So, that'll be cool too, because I'm going to do that modification myself. And, um, you know, I think it ought to be fun. So, stay tuned, guys. Again, I'm still breathing. It's this New England weather sucks. It looks like we're getting our winter in May. So... Um, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.